OKTV, OK entertainment, gossip, life. OKTV OK starts now. Hey. Legendary actor of the stage and screen, Sir Patrick Stewart can now add another honor to his name. His face is now on the side of a New York City tour bus. He shared his connection to the city with Alex. I'm so honored to be sitting next to Sir Patrick Stewart. And from the Starship Enterprise to a New York City landmark, you are being honored today as part of the Ride of Fame. How do you feel? Because your roots really date back to New York in such a beautiful way. So how do you feel today? I came to New York first in 1969 with a production from the Royal Shakespeare Company. 41st Street, 42nd Street, Times Square was a very different place in 1969 from how it is today. We almost had minders everywhere we went, making sure that we didn't get into trouble, which some of us did anyway. <laughs> and nothing gives me greater satisfaction in my career than that I have become accepted as part of the Broadway community. And right now you have your own seat right, right here now. on this bus, which is beautiful. How different is this than the captain's seat? For me, the significance of this is enormous because it ties me to New York. Now, I know the captain's chair on the Enterprise tied me into a, an iconic franchise, which continues to be iconic to this day. But this is extraordinary for me because I love this city. And it's the fact that the people that are using this bus are those people who are perhaps discovering New York City for the first time and falling in love as I fell in love. Honor to uh, be here as a part of the 100th uh, anniversary celebration for Gray Line. Uh, it's an honor to be born and bred in New York uh, and uh, to get a New York bus dedicated to myself, which is fantastic. Um, and it's also a great honor for me to be shooting back in New York. I'm starting a new show. We're shooting in Brooklyn. We're using uh, all the New York talent that is available here. Uh, in the city. I'm so happy to be back in my hometown. And again, this is an incredible, incredible honor. So thank you for showing up. And I'm always proud to be a New Yorker. And now for the Mets Community Clipboard. Earlier today, outside City Field, Gray Line unveiled its David Wright Double Decker Tour Bus. Wright was inducted into the company's Ride of Fame, which honors celebrities from around the world who have influenced New York City. Wright was recognized for his performance with the New York Mets for the past nine years and for his charitable work through the David Wright Foundation. The bus is wrapped with photos of Wright and images of New York City and features a permanent seat on the top deck with Wright's signature. For more information on the David Wright Foundation, visit at davidwrightfoundation.com. U.S. billionaire and beauty pageant owner Donald Trump has been honored in New York City with his own bus on the New York Ride of Fame. Here's more from New York. Donald Trump, the quintessential American entrepreneur, worth a whopping $2 billion. Trump made his fortune through real estate, mostly in New York City, and is co-owner of the Miss Universe organization. The organization holds the Miss Universe and Miss USA beauty pageants. In New York, Trump is so famous that Greyline buses decided to honor him in their ride of fame. Greyline has been a staple of the New York tourism industry since 1926. The company is honoring what it calls exemplary New Yorkers by dedicating one of its double-decker tourist buses to each of the figures it chooses. At Trump Tower on New York's famous Fifth Avenue, it was Trump's turn to see his new vehicle. He attended the ribbon-cutting ceremony with the newly crowned Miss USA. Hello, everybody. Thank you for you. Wow. Beautiful. Well, thank you very much, everybody. It's an honor to be here. Gray Line is 100 years, so they've been longer, longer than everybody, and they really are a great institution in New York. And 
when they told my secretary, Rona, Rona was here and she is, uh, she thought it was just a great idea. Anything we can do to promote New York and to let the world know what a great place New York is, that's okay with me now. After christening the new bus, it was time for a ride down Fifth Avenue. Entity News, New York. NCIS star Polly Perrette is at our home today, and while she heads to the stage for a new interview with Renee, let's head over to New York where AJ's with NCIS Los Angeles star LL Cool J. Special Agent Sam Hanna captured, tortured, and on the brink of breaking. He got it wrong. In this season's mind-blowing cliffhanging finale of NCIS Los Angeles. Let me just put it to you like this, man. Sam got thrown in the pool. That put some heavy weight. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna see. <laughs> But you won't have to wait till fall to see the hip-hop side of LL Cool J this summer doing something he hasn't done in 17 years. I haven't been on the tour since like 1996. We're gonna have a good time. LL back in front of the mic on his Kings of the Mic tour with Ice Cube and Public Enemy and keeping it authentic on his first new album in five years. Would you say this is one of the best LL albums yet? Oh, yeah, I think it's definitely one of the best. It'll speak to your soul, for sure. Pop's called an attitude. We're going to see more movies, possibly? Yeah, I'll have some movies. I have a lot of things going on. Believe me, I'm... <laughs> you, you got a plan, huh? Uh, well, I mean, you know, I like to have fun. Nothing more fun than having your own double-decker bus. LL, the latest New York celebrity, inducted into Grey Line's ride of fame. Millions of people come in and off of these buses, and they've given me a bus. It's crazy. Cool James riding high this summer, back on the NCIS Los Angeles beat this fall. Bye, Andrea. Everyone coming up on the left is Carnegie Hall. But what we're interested in is the Carnegie Deli. Succulent pastrami sandwiches. And don't forget all the varieties of cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake, blueberry cheesecake, raspberry cheesecake, fudge world cheesecake, original flavored cheesecake. Well, oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry now. <laughs> Sir, please take your seat. Your seat. Coming up on the left. This is where Good Morning America is filmed? Good morning, New York! Come Sir. see Vampire Weekend! April 28th at Roseland! Sir, don't make me stop this bus. Please remain in your seat. This guy's killing me. I'm gonna have to do something. In front of us, glorious Central Park. Make sure... Give me that... My... Give it back! Hey, everybody. Come see Vampire Weekend. April 28th at Roseland, and you'll hear songs like this. Back, back, we're back, I used to front, black and white, mechanics, bug and goose, and dust the line. We'll open New York with champagne and disco, take some memories, slash San Francisco, but actually open the When you were a kid, the night before Easter, wasn't it hard to sleep? You couldn't sleep. You're going to go, you're going to find eggs, you're going to eat chocolate, you're going to have a great day. I love the parade, I love taking pictures, I love meeting with people, and this is my favorite because you can just walk up to yeah. folks like yourself, shake hands, chit chat. Oh you all right? Yeah. No. I'm a I, I, I love him. Oh, oh, okay. Vampire Weekend at Roseland, April 28th. Come see the show, one night only. Le Vampire Weekend. Every time I see you in the world, you always step to my girl. Oh, oh my, my mother. goodness. Oh my God.
That is so beautiful. You like Vampire Weekend? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Living in Oblivion, one of my favorite films. Oh, thank you very much. Fantastic. That was with Kevin Corrigan. Yes, yes. Wasn't that fun, guys? I Where's can't deny it. Why is that one girl crying? So, Steve, you really think that's going to help us? You watch. I guarantee you, half the crowd at Roseland will be because of this parade. Uh, what do you think? Right, let's go here. We'll get you, uh, Get you in front of the sign. Just open up. Just yeah, open, open up. up right there. Well, open up to the sign a little uh, bit. Okay. Right? Right. You open up like that. Can you put your ears on? Sure. Chris, your head is in the way. Just. Okay, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Where does it say Vampire Weekend? I don't think we're up there. The show's already sold out. Yeah, I think it sold out yesterday. Why didn't you tell me? We thought you knew. I'm out there busting my ass promoting a sold out show. Happy Easter. See you at the dinner. Don't be late. The newest inductee to the Ride of Fame is Fionn Roy. All right, grab him. Well, in the word, wow. <laughs> this is quite an honor. And I'm truly, truly humbled to be considered to have my own group of here. And uh, I certainly appreciate the effort put forth to have this happen for me. I am so thrilled that uh, we're going to be riding on my bus with my name on it. So I thank you so very, very much. Very much. Can we talk about you? Sure. How, how are things with you? I mean, you're busy. You've got uh, a great TV show, Devious Maids. Thank you so much. Actually, two. One that I shoot in New York here called Deadly Affairs on, on uh, ID, Investigation Discovery. And yes, Devious Maids, it is a love fest going on there. I'm so happy and so lucky to be working with Mark Cherry and, and this incredible cast. Mark Cherry, the Desperate Housewives guy? Yeah. Yes. This is a new show that he created. And um, I just have to say, uh, how lucky to come from a show like All My Children, where I was in Agnes Nixon's hands and go now to be in Mark Cherry's hands. Great storyteller, amazing writer. I haven't seen this yet. What's it about? Where can we see it? Um, Devious Maids is, first of all, the fastest growing show in the history of Lifetime. We're on Sunday nights at 10 p.m. Uh, we just finished season one, and uh, it's about five Latina maids in Beverly Hills households. Lucky me, um, I have one of those Beverly Hills households and two of the beautiful Latina maids. That's fantastic. <laughs> and where do you shoot that? Do you shoot that on the West Coast? We shot the pilot on the West Coast. We shot the pilot in L.A. We shoot the show in Atlanta. Oh. Mm -hmm, which has become such a hotbed of, of uh, business. Walking it's Dead. Business. Walking well, Dead comes from Atlanta. Well, I have to say, I Hunger she Games. A New York at through and through. Garden City, Greg. You know Garden City. I did you go to Garden City High? I did, Greg. Did you? Well, you yes, did, did too. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. And a great town. Great town. And you still live there? I still live there. Um, it was my husband from the Austrian Alps who said, This is a great town when we get married to raise children. And uh, it was. It's turned out yeah. to be a spectacular place. Your family's restaurant is one of my 
favorite I restaurants know, in New York. I know, when you I love in, it. Susan, but I have to say, I see you all over the place, and so it's only natural that you would get your own, like, double-decker bus now. What's going on? <laughs> this is amazing. Um, yes, and apparently fan-driven, which I can't tell you how grateful I am to the fans who apparently lobbied for this, that I would be on a double-decker bus in New York permanently. I mean, it's an incredible experience. So what experience. is it named after you, and it has your picture? How does well, it work? Well, it's, it's the um, Ride of Fame. Hollywood has its Hollywood Walk of Fame. New York has its Ride of Fame. And uh, it's a double, the, the Gray Line bus, the premier double-decker bus is in New York, where so many people from all over the world come and get to see New York yeah. on top of those double-deckers. I think Joe Namath has a bus, too. He does. Joe Namath, Cindy Lauper, Liza Minnelli. So this I bus mean, is named after you? Well, I think, I mean, my picture's going to be on there cool. forever, they tell me. That is awesome. And I think they put it on the front. This is a sightseeing uh, outfit? It is a sightseeing tour bus. What yes. kind of sights do they see? They see this fabulous city of New York. Mm -hmm. And I'm so envious. You know, I've been in cars all my life going from studio to studio and so thrilled wherever I stop at a red light or go through Central Park or look up at the buildings, I see something new every day. And they're going to see everything from, you know, this wonderful double decker bus. I've envied them all my life. So I was wondering, like, is it, now with this honor, do you have to go there every now and then and just be on the top of the bus and, and point out the sights to everybody? Like, that's <laughs> part of the gig. You get the bus when it's after you, uh, yeah. but then you. You have to be a tour guide the tour. once a month. <laughs> well, actually, tomorrow I'm going to um, Pier 78. That's where we're launching the bus. I'm going to do a, rib a ribbon cutting ceremony, and I'm going to sign um, what they tell me is a permanent seat on the top level of the double decker bus. Sign a message to my fans. Cool. That's nice. Yeah, very cool. It's very cool. Well, you're looking great. Thank you so much. You both don't change a bit. You well, look fantastic. Same here with you. And Thank of course, you. every time we see you, Greg was talking about Erica Kane. He said, Did Susan Lucci ever win an Emmy for that Erica Kane? I said, Yeah, finally she won. You did? One, right? After I did. Well, yes. it was great for your career, quite frankly. The, 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 stupid, the stupidity on their part actually worked to your benefit. Right? I thought they did it as a way to keep people coming back to watch the Emmys every year. I thought they did it intentionally. Well, you know, I'll never. Never know. I'll never know. I'm just here to tell you that being nominated was great. Winning is better. You know. <laughs> We've been snubbed by them a million times. Have you? Yes, we have. Oh, but I'm you were sorry. nominated. How many times Wrong. were you nominated before you won? Uh, I won on my 19th nomination. 19 times, Greg. Well, only a four or five. <laughs> did you ever see that movie Tootsie? I did see Tootsie. Was that an accurate representation of soap opera life? You know, I think it was probably an accurate. Rep representation of whatever soap they were following. It was not all my children. Yeah. Uh, and I think, like every show, there's no genre where everything is the same. You know, all comedies are not created equal. All daytime shows are not created equal. All movies are not created equal. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, w it would vary. But I'm sure whatever Dustin Hoffman was following, certainly his performance was incredible. Yeah. What do you like to do? I know you work a lot, but what do you like to do on, in your downtime? I like to eat. <laughs> what, you grass? Not, what do you eat? You don't look like you eat. <laughs> thank you. Thank God. Well, I do pl I work out. I do Pilates and, and a variety of, of things that are Pilates-centric and, and work out almost every day. And oh. I, I do love that. And when I don't do it, I miss it. But I would miss eating a lot, so it helps me. Hmm. Well, keep up the Pilates, Susan. It's working. Uh, <laughs> we can you. see you on Lifetime Sundays at 10. Yes. And good luck with this bus. It'll be everywhere. It'll be everywhere around New York, and uh, we, we're going to start shooting season two of Devious Maids right after the holidays. It will be on again in the spring, Lifetime. So we were talking about the fact that, you know, when you're on tour, you're going to be riding on a bus. It's town to town. It's like a real road tour. Yeah, for sure. um, but there's another bus right here in New York City that's rather special to you, so yeah. tell us about that. Yeah, uh, the Gray Line, the Ride of Fame, actually uh, inducted me into the Ride of Fame and actually gave me a bus... <laughs> For a sightseeing, you know, it's like, you know, there it's actually a bus for people when they sightsee in New York. So, you know, that's amazing. You know, this is my hometown. You know, it's, it's just so nice for the city to embrace you like that. And now when millions of people come from around the world, they'll see LL and know I'm a hometown boy. So that's cool. Yes, you are. LL Cool J, everyone. LL, thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, David, for that introduction and to uh, 
the ride of fame for the honor that I'm about to receive and to allegiance to musical, the musical that I'm doing uh, here on Broadway and to New York, New York City, this glorious city. I love this city and I did it on foot the first time. I did it by uh, subway the next time, which is the best way to get around from here to there quickly. But then subsequently I tried taxis and I tried limousines. The best way to get around is by bus. I did many off-Broadway plays, but this year, 2015, I am making my debut on Broadway with a show that is very personal to me and that is also very important for America. It's titled Allegiance. And I remember when I first learned the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, it was in a barbed wire internment camp in the swamps of Arkansas. We were in prison simply because we happened to look like the people that bombed Pearl Harbor. It is one of the stains on American history that still today is too little known about. And we turned it, that into a musical because despite those harsh circumstances, the Japanese Americans who were in prison had this word called gamma, which means to endure with dignity, hope, and pride. And because of that, we were able to survive, and here I am, transformed by that experience, making my debut on the Broadway stage in Allegiance. Allegiance is a musical because of that gamma, resilience, but the strength also to find beauty and joy and love within those harsh circumstances. So do join us, and after having explored this wonderful city from this bus, and the one thing about this honor, you know, I've been honored in my hometown of Los Angeles with the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but they put that honor on the sidewalk, and there's my good name in a star there. But the whole world can trample over my good, good name. <laughs> Here in New York, uh, with my good name, you can take in the glory of the state, the vibrance of the state, the creative energy of this city, and it will take you right to Broadway, and ideally, it'll stop at the Long Acre Theater where Allegiance is played.